Hey guys, so I uh, just wanted to do a Facebook Live video here. Um, I recently got poison ivy, so I've been educating myself on how to identify it, and I wanted to share some tips. So, this is a poison ivy plant. You can see because there is a uh, three leaf grouping, and this leaf is extended a head, a neck, and two arms. Now, it won't always be shiny, so this is also poison ivy here. We have actually quite a bit of it. Um, this is not poison ivy. See, it's um, not three leaves. This is though. So we have a head, a neck, and two arms for poison ivy. And now we see shiny leaves here, um, but these leaves are red now. So this is also poison ivy. When they're new um, stems, they'll look more red. And then we have another grouping here. Um, this long thing is not poison ivy. These are just regular vines. Um, we have some over by this car. So one head, one neck, and two arms. This is a three leaf grouping. So it's always going to be in groups of three, but it's gonna be a slightly different shade of green. Um, so we have kind of a light green one here, and we have like a darker green one here. We have a large uh, leaf grouping, so they can be small and large. Um, another one here, so a head, neck, and two arms. So I'm hoping that as I show you different size ones, you can start to see um, how poison ivy looks to protect yourself. Um, and so now I'll walk around to the other side here, I'm just at a local beach area. And um, poison ivy will often grow in New England. This is probably what you'll see most here in Connecticut. Um, poison sumac grows near water and poison oak grows more on the west coast. So now here we have just a traditional vine, um, some vines, and then we have poison ivy here. So uh, we can see one, two, three. Now this is a five leaf grouping. It often looks like poison ivy, but it's called Virginia creeper. Um, so your poison ivy is always going to have three leaves. Now uh, we have some down here. One, two, three. You can see these are dark green and these are red. Both of these are poison ivy. And um, again, your five leaf Virginia creeper. All right, we have another grouping here. One, two, three. A group of poison ivy. Again, another one here. One, two, three. It's kind of fun to learn to identify it. Um, and you can be at a safe distance from it. So, and then all the rest is just regular um, vines. So again, these five leaf groupings are Virginia creeper and you don't have to be worried about that. And then down here, we have some over here. So you'll start to spot the groupings. So this is a one, three leaf. Um, and a lot of uh, groupings here, actually quite a bit of poison ivy. There's another one there. Extended leaf will be quite larger than the other two. And then there's one behind it. There, uh, there's the extended one in those two. So now you, these leaves don't have the mittens. So I'm gonna show you one, uh, there's a couple plants that have the mittens. So these are just rounded traditional shaped leaves. Um, your poison ivy will never have jagged leaves. Um, poison ivy often can uh, get confused with like black raspberry bushes. Um, and those have jagged leaves, so you can tell those apart. And it also doesn't have thorns on the stem so now here's some more one two three one two three and see this one from the side you can see how there's a neck on there so you see a head a neck and two arms this is the leaflets um so i wonder if there's one with the mittens but again these leaves are not shiny these are matted so um they're only going to be shiny typically uh, sometimes you know so now here's more. It's actually up here as well. So you can see right here, one, two, three. And then we have a not shiny one there, one, two, three. So poison ivy also have these white berries. It's actually a really good example. You'll see those white berries up here. And uh, those white berries, uh, what is it? White berries in sight. Um, run, want, run with fright or something. So poison ivy will, this is a huge bush of it, like a huge thing. And so poison ivy can be small, 
like these guys down here can really take over. You'll see honeysuckle in here as well. Um, but poison ivy is something you can avoid by learning how to identify it. Um, and I don't see any that have the mittens, but um, I'll keep showing you some more. So a head, neck, and two arms. A head, neck, and two arms. Now, if you do see poison ivy that has mittens, here's a non-mitten one, but they'll have like a little notch on this edge and the other side of the leaf will be nice and smooth. Um, here's a poison ivy little one. Um, and the leaves are not always shiny, so it's really important, like even just on this one plant here, this leaf up here, because it's a little baby leaf, is going to be a little more redder and shinier. This leaf, leaflet grouping of three, is completely matted. And so you want to make sure that your poison ivy also, too, see how there are tips? There's a pointed tip, pointed tip on the end. That's a trademark. Versus these leaves, see how they're kind of rounded? This is not poison ivy. Um, and they're also not in leaves of three. So poison ivy, they'll always be in groupings of three and they'll have like a little red on their stem. That's just a vine. Um, again, this is poison ivy here. See, one, two, three. And um, poison ivy is actually, some people are not allergic to it, but even if you are not, you might live with someone who is. So it, the oils will remain. So you have to clean any, anything that's touched poison ivy with rubbing alcohol. Um, that's why I'm using a little stick to point it out. So these are just regular plants. And at first, when you're learning about poison ivy, everything just looks green and you kind of are afraid of everything. But this is Virginia creeper. See, one, two, three, four, five. It's a five leaf, even though it has that red center. Um, let's see. Doesn't look like there's too much over here. Now I'll walk back across this way to see if we can find one with the mittens on there. That's going to be another add-on, but your most important way to identify poison ivy is going to be by the body because the leaves will always be different in color depending on the season. In the fall, it might even look red, so you cannot say leaves that are green <laughs> unless you know the season. So... All right, we're gonna head back this way. So this is all just, this is like a vine. These are all just regular plants. And here we hit poison ivy, okay. So uh, here's one, two, three. These are the three shiny leaves, right? Traditionally, when you see leaves of three, beware of thee. And these are shiny and red. And, um, now, because those are newer leaves, they're gonna be more red. These are light green, and those ones beneath it are dark green. This is all poison ivy. I'll try to get a good view of this. So our new leaflets would be a reddish tone. Then we have a light green, and they're kind of, these ones are droopy. And then here's another grouping here, one, two, three. So they're all gonna kind of come off this plant. So we have a one, two, three. <laughs> And, um, all right, I'll just show you one more. I don't know if we'll find the mittens. But sometimes they have little knobs on the end of the leaves. But I hope you enjoyed this poison ivy video. We have head, neck, and two arms. So anyway, um, if you want any, if you have any questions, just post them in the comments below. And um, if you get poison ivy, seek medical attention immediately. <laughs> and hopefully you can avoid it. Have a great night, you guys.